Today we're going to be testing the thermal transmittency of our product. In front of me I have a block of dry ice and over here to the right I've got uh, three different structures uh, of the sunroom. The first one is a non-thermal break and then the second one is the traditional thermal break. And the third one is our thermal clad moyen. Over here I have a, a temperature gauge which tests the surface temperature. Right now it's right at about room temperature at 72 degrees. We'll come back in a couple minutes and see, uh, and see how things have progressed. Now we're back. We've been gone just a couple of minutes and within that period of time a lot has changed. As you remember, uh, we took our temperature gauge and measured the surface temperature. Let me be clear uh, right now, the, the outside um, of your room represents where the product is sitting on the dry ice. The inside of your room is a surface area. So let's measure the temperature. We were right about 72, 75 degrees before. Uh, the first one measures minus 27 degrees. The second one being the traditional thermally break, broken system is 36 and a half degrees. And of course the Omega uh, thermal clad system, 71.5 degrees. So let me show you uh, a little bit more of a close up look on what's actually happened here with this uh, frost. You can see the frost and how it's just, it's on the, this is what's on the inside of your room. On a very cold day, even the, the thermal break, you got the same situation. You can see where the uh, frost is starting to come up past the thermal break here. And then on the Omega thermally clad system, uh, there's no frost at all on the inside. And of course, you've got your secondary um, defense here, the, out, the inside cladding system. That's our test. Hi, uh, today we're going to be measuring the thermal efficiency of our glass. Now the performance of the individual glass is one thing, but the performance of the actual spacer is another thing entirely. Uh, what I have in my hand is just a cross section of the dual pane high performance glass we produce. The spacer here that we use is, is the latest and greatest available in the market. It's a warm edge spacer called Duralite. On my left here, we've had both these pieces of glass sitting on dry ice for about the last 10 minutes. This is showing the traditional aluminum spacer, and then this is showing our Duralite warm edge spacer. And what I'm going to do is take the thermometer and measure the surface temperatures right at the edge. 